Chip and Dale, together again. Okay. Stop singing the song. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Easter eggs in Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers you missed. Talking about a reboot? Think they can squeeze a dollar out of essentially nothing. For this list, we'll be looking at little details in the Rescue Rangers feature film that you might have let slip through the cracks. Since there's a mystery at the heart of the story and the cameos are countless, a spoiler alert is in order. Which Rescue Rangers Easter eggs stood out to you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Main Street Characters Oh, wow. It seems kind of nice. It's not what I pictured. Trust me, it's worse. On the case, Chip and Dale visit Main Street, which looks an awful lot like the one in Disneyland. Instead of costumed performers, though, actual animated characters sell goods. Among the recognizable faces is Linda Flynn Fletcher from Phineas and Ferb, Wart and Meps, who were members of Fat Cat's gang in the original Rescue Rangers series, can be found in the background. From a window, the colonel from 101 Dalmatians is seen blowing bubbles. At least that's what he appears to be doing. That dog's blowing bubbles. Hello! As Dale notes, the characters on Main Street are always up to something behind the scenes, especially Keegan-Michael Key as Bjornsson the Cheesemonger. While this puppet is an original character, he does mimic the Swedish chef in one instance. Come on, this way. <laughs> what? I got something for Sweet Pete. Number 9. Transformed Pete If you thought middle-aged Peter Pan was jarring, get a load of bootlegged Pete. As everything goes haywire, Sweet Pete becomes a hodgepodge of different characters. While his torso is about the same, he now sports a pair of red pants like Mickey Mouse's. One leg resembles that of a Transformer's, while his other leg is modeled after Woody's from Toy Story. Pete directly references Wreck-It Ralph as he commands his oversized left arm. Huh. I'm gonna wreck them! His right shoulder armor is a bit like Shredder's in Ninja Turtles. Of course, Shredder didn't have a cannon for an arm. Two words, chipmunk soup. And to top it all off, he gets a cat head that could be mistaken for Marie from the Aristocats combined with Chippendale's own fat cat. Learn your skills and your this ain't no happy little thought. Number 8. Double O Dale. You can't have Chip without Dale, and vice versa. Dale learns this the hard way when he signs up for a failed pilot entitled Double O Dale. Double O Dale? That's hilarious. What is that? It's wild, right? It's my new show. I'm gonna be a super spy. While this wasn't actually a show, there was a Rescue Rangers episode entitled Double O Chipmunk, where Dale and Zipper get roped into a secret agent caper. Oh, oh boy, a secret agent kind of case. Now's our chance to be double O spies for real. Before that, DuckTales had an episode entitled Double O Duck, which served as Launchpad's spy nickname. Hey, <laughs> careful! Uh oh, I, I should have warned you. I uh, have killer dandruff. With this episode providing something of a launchpad, pun intended, Tad Stones went on to create Darkwing Duck, although that show largely dropped the James Bond angle. <laughs> Rescue Rangers? Now there's a cartoon show! It'd still work in elements like the organization Fowl. Stones was also the co-creator of Rescue Rangers, so we guess Double O Dale brings things full circle. That's my cue to go. This has been Chapter 1 of Dale's Tales. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below. Number 7. Dip The filmmakers make it no secret that they were heavily inspired by Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Roger himself even makes a cameo, while Jessica is mentioned in passing. <laughs> Boy, what a party. While it was hard to miss those references, you'd have to be a private investigator of Eddie Valiant's caliber to catch this Easter egg. Preparing to give Chip the bootleg treatment, Sweet Pete breaks out an assortment of lethal instruments. Among his collection is a bottle of the dip. You should have just let me bootleg you when you came into my office. Could have saved us both a ton of headaches. Ah. 
In Roger Rabbit, Judge Doom develops this dastardly concoction of turpentine, acetone, and benzene to wipe Toons off the face of the Earth. <laughs> Fortunately, Pete reaches for an eraser instead of the deadly chemical. Let's just be grateful Chip didn't meet the same fate as the Toon Shoe. Number 6. Frozen Food Returning home, Chip opens the fridge where a few items stand out. Chip reaches for a box of Frozone food with Lucius Best from The Incredibles on the packaging. Oh, get over here. To the left, you can spot cartons of Ice Age cream with Scrat the saber-toothed squirrel featured. While those franchises are under the Disney umbrella, we were genuinely surprised to see a box of Foghorn Leghorn and Henry Hawk pasta in Chip's freezer. This was one of several Looney Tunes meals that Tyson Foods produced during the early 90s, and apparently Chip still hasn't gotten around to microwaving this retro TV dinner. It's not Daffy piano dueling Donald or Bugs parachuting with Mickey. What's up, Doc? Jumping without a parachute? Kinda dangerous, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you could get killed, huh? You guys got a spare? But seeing a Looney Tunes product in a modern Disney movie is mind blowing nonetheless. Number 5. Chip and Dale Animation Styles Trapped in a bootleg machine, Chip and Dale risk getting a complete design. The machine is gonna try and surgically re edit you, so try to avoid that. Goodbye, Ellie! Always remember me! Honestly, though, we'd kind of like to see some of these alternate versions of the Chipmunks get a spin off. We mean a Chip and Dale anime? Just substitute Dragon Balls with acorns. Another design sees Chip and Dale as Rick and Morty characters. Hey, they're bound to exist in some reality. Although Chip and Dale started their cartoon careers in color, one design takes them back to the black and white era. A standout design sees them Simpsonized, while a superhero makeover turns them into a dynamic duo resembling Deadpool and Batman. We even get a nod to the madcap style of Ren and Stimpy. We've heard of sick little monkeys, but sick little chipmunks? You sick little monkey! Number 4. Bootlegged Tunes As the case is closed, the rescue rangers stumble upon all of the kidnapped tunes that have been bootlegged. Oh, okay, okay, slow down. The first bootleg tune to emerge is none other than Bigfoot from a Goofy movie. In addition to having underwear back on his head, Bigfoot has been given Fred Flintstone's iconic outfit. <laughs> Many of the bootleg tunes resemble distorted versions of Disney characters, including Abu from Aladdin, Zazu from The Lion King, Jiminy Cricket, Gus Gus, Phineas Flynn, The Cheshire Cat, and Bonkers. Outside of Disney properties, there are bootlegged characters resembling Samurai Jack, Woody Woodpecker, Patrick Starr, and Mighty Mouse. We're curious if Disney got permission to bootleg those copyrighted characters, or if this counts as parody. Oh, what did they do to you? Ah, chipper. They dumboed me. Either way, it's a surreal crossover event. Number 3. Voices Although John Mulaney and Andy Samberg headline the film, most of the original Rescue Ranger cast members play a part. What if I did something like... I am into nuts! <laughs> good, good, I love it. Great stuff! Corey Burton is briefly heard as Dale and Zipper the latter of whom goes on to be voiced by Dennis Haysbert of 24. Although Tress McNeil can only be heard for a few seconds as Chip, she remains Gadget's voice throughout. We love you, bud, but we just can't invest in any more of your independent movies. Eric Bana voices Monterey Jack, who Peter Cullen and Jim Cummings originally voiced. Uh, I screwed up, Chip. My love of cheese got the best of me, and I bought more than I could pay for. At least Cummings gets to reprise his roles as Fat Cat, Pete, and Darkwing Duck. Get out of the way, you little yahoos! Move it! You're messing things up here! Crazy ex-girlfriends Rachel Bloom, who's married to co-screenwriter Dan Greger, voices several characters, including Chip's mom and Flounder. How about this? Isn't it neat? <laughs> Come on, fellas, this is a genuine dingo hopper. Tim Robinson brings out Ugly Sonic's grit, and Tad Stones even lends his voice to a studio executive. Chip, Dale, how would you like your own show? <gasps> Number 2. Billboards and Ads Some of the film's funniest cameos flash by in billboard form. 
As Chip and Dale drive through the streets, there are billboards for Johnny Bravo Fitness and the law team of Doug Funny and Porkchop. We're not sure how they turned the Waze app into a movie, but we totally pay to see Lego Miserables. We dare say it even might be better than the Russell Crowe version. At first, the bench ad for Senator Butthead caught us off guard, but we've admittedly elected less qualified candidates to office. Although they don't make appearances on screen, Squidward and Yogi Bear's names are on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So is Samurai Jax. It's a small toontown after all. Okay. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Professor Norton Nimnall, the mad scientist, is seen on the Rescue Rangers set. That's a wrap, folks. Oh. Uh, nice work. Wreck it Ralph Donut Cops. Winchell and Duncan are on the case. Well, it eats me up inside to have to tell you this, but if he's been taken by the Valley Gang, I doubt we can help you. Randy Marsh, South Park meets Disney. It's not the first time. Oh, who's that? Nobody, just a bear. I was wondering, since you're new, if you might have some honey. Seth Rogen characters. Mantis from Kung Fu Panda, Bob from Monsters vs. Aliens, and Pumbaa United. What are you looking at? Honestly? Your weird dead eyes. <laughs> they are weird. <laughs> Super weird. <laughs> so funny. T-1000 reference. From liquid metal to clay. Hey, buddy. Don't be so fragile. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Items on the Wall Locating the villain's hideout, our heroes find various parts and items taken from animated characters. What the... A pause button is required to catch them all. Disney fans will recognize Jiminy Cricket's hat and umbrella, a potato head body, and the kingdom key from Kingdom Hearts. Some parts seemingly belong to Nickelodeon characters, including Jimmy Neutron's hair and the mouth of Ickis from Ah! Real Monsters. Other accessories include Rocky the Flying Squirrel's aviator hat, a Smurf's cap, a tail belonging to Shenron from Dragon Ball, Pikachu's tail, and Bartok the Bat's ears. Not even the crafty pink panther is safe. If counting these Easter eggs wasn't so much fun, we might find it disturbing that so many cartoon body parts are hanging on the wall. Oh no. Monty's mustache. <gasps> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.